So everyone here who's watching the video, fuck's sake, I just voice crack. What's going on guys, Typical Asian here, and if you came from my video, well this is the second step to actually making your Xbox One controller or Xbox 360 controller playable on Smite PC, and if you didn't come from my last video, well, welcome aboard. This is a tutorial on how to change the sensitivity, make it higher, so you can actually play multiplayer properly, like using your keyboard and mouse on Smite PC, but with your Xbox controllers. Okay, there's one little disclaimer for this video. This is gonna be a nightmare for some people to fix, and for the other people, this is gonna be uh, perfect for y'all. But people who downloaded Smite from Steam, you are in a little predicament because you are going to need to actually uninstall Smite from Steam fully, uh, which means you have to in uninstall everything from high res to Smite. And if you had any games um, from high res like Paladins, you're gonna need to delete that. I figured that out. I thought I was doing the right thing by configuring a file from the Steam files of Smite, but it actually didn't affect it. What you need to do is download it from high res. The high res website, I'll have it down in the link below of this video but um people who downloaded it from high res this is perfect for y'all you just need to follow these steps and you're going to be fine so i'm using windows computer um a lot of people so i just need to open the files folder and go to this pc and pick your hard drive which in this case my hard drive is c next you need to open program files go to go to high res studios high res games and you should have smite as a folder it doesn't matter if you have any other games from smite i mean from high res not from smite like paladins just open smite folder go to battle game config and the next part here you're gonna need to drag default input the reason why we need to drag it out into the desktop is because um if you configure it within this folder it's gonna try to make you save it as a document so you need to drag it out here just need to open default input files sorry it keeps going into my other screen once you're here scroll down all the way down this basically tell you all the controls all the sensitivity when you go down all the way to xbox controller movement i already changed it but it's usually like 1.3 1.5 or 1, and then this one's like 1.8 you need to double that to actually make it playable in the game um so you just need to change it from higher or lower it might be too sensitive for you so all you need to do is just configure it to your likings uh, make it as comfortable as possible for you this is my settings and that's pretty much it i hope you guys like this video and if you did please leave a like and subscribe it would help me so much it would encourage me to make more videos for my channel and comment down below any problems any concerns any help or anything you want me to upload or record onto my channel in the future i would like to show more smite gameplay actual smite live gameplay or commentaries if you guys like that uh, put that in comments down below but anyways thank you guys for watching again and as always i'll see you guys in the next one peace Thank you.